Well, hey guys, today I want to share with you a few thoughts and a few clips of something that I am doing. It's been on my heart for quite a while and an opportunity sadly presented itself um, for me to put these things into practice. And that is sharing meals with people who are going through a rough time, basically a meal ministry. So when I was a kid, I grew up in a really small church. Community was the name of the game. Everyone knew everyone else. And it just seemed that whenever there was a need, people filled it with food. And it was so welcomed. I remember different times where people brought us meals. And even as a kid, I remembered how much that blessed our family. My mom was always really big on giving people food and meals when they needed it. She was great when we would ever get new neighbors. I remember her like running over with a plate of cupcakes. Like food is inviting, it's healing, it's welcoming. And I think it's something that we've really gotten away from as a society. And I want to bring that back into my own world and to the people within my path and to be able to bless them with some goodness. It's been on my heart for quite a while to actually do something like this in my church. To be totally honest, it seems very overwhelming. I go to a very large church and I know it would be welcomed, but the logistics of how to do it that escaped me completely. And if you have a meal ministry at your church and you do something like this, or you're part of the committee or whatever, I would love to know how you run that. Give me all the details. <laughs> But today I want to give you some thoughts on a meal ministry. I want to share with you what I'm doing today. I'm taking a meal to a friend who lost her mother-in-law just a couple days ago. Um, and yeah, I'm going to share with you what I'm up to. So what's the point in bringing people meals? Well, y'all know we go through some rough times sometimes in life. And the thought of preparing a meal for your family can be very overwhelming when you are in a season of grief or you're in a season of overwhelm, or you're in a season of healing. Um, I think of giving meals typically after someone in the person's family has passed away. Um, when there's a new baby that's brought into the family, that's always a joyous event, but it's very, very time consuming. And poor mama has enough on her plate and putting together meals for the family is often gets pushed to the back burner. It has to be done, but it would be so much easier if someone came along and helped that new mama out. I also think of people who have gone through surgery and maybe physically can't get to the stove to make a meal and that's when they really need a nutritious meal the most is when they're in that healing phase. I also think of people who are just kind of overwhelmed and maybe just going through a difficult time for whatever reason. And you know what? The reality is People don't have to be going through a tough time for us to bring them a meal. They could be having a great time and you just want to bless them with a meal. First of all, that's going to save them money. It's going to save them time. It's going to give them a new experience as a family. And I'm telling you, food is healing. There's a reason that the Bible talks about so many different feasts and celebrating and how God is preparing like a banquet table for us. Like, Food is good stuff. So let's bless the people in our lives. First of all, don't let this process be intimidating. I know, I know it can feel really intimidating, especially if you're bringing something for someone you may not know really well, if you're not confident with your cooking skills, or for whatever reason, you're just really busy. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. I'm making a recipe today for baked ziti and it's a very, very easy recipe. In fact, actually as I was looking at my recipe, I realized I was missing an ingredient. So I'm actually going to make um, my friend Nikki from Carrie Grace. She has a baked Italian pasta dish. I talk about it all the time on my channel and I'm going to make that instead. I'm just going to not include the meat. but. This recipe I can make with my eyes closed. It's simple, it's pasta, it's a couple sauces, it's cheese, it's easy. If you're not confident with your cooking skills, there are so many ideas that you could implement that you could still bless somebody with. Go to the grocery store, pick up a rotisserie chicken, pick up a pre-made salad, maybe some sliced fruit, and a loaf of French bread that usually costs like a dollar. Take it to the people. <laughs> 
easy peasy usually if you buy like a cut salad you get the dressing for free you have a couple packets of dressing and seriously you have got a meal another really great idea is just cold cuts and some buns a bag of potato chips again pre-cut veggies or a salad from the deli area maybe a bag of cookies or something from the bakery and call it done like you could literally just stop at the grocery store on your way to someone's house put together something delicious and just take it over to them another idea is to do something like a taco bar it's really simple to make up some taco like hamburger meat or you can you know do up some chicken um, put together some wraps and then you just dice all of your veggies like um, tomatoes and you could do onions and um, cilantro and just all kinds of different you know you know what goes on tacos put them in individual like Ziploc baggies and you've got a meal it's so simple we don't have to overcomplicate it we just need to make it easy another idea is to think of breakfast so if somebody is doing like a meal train they kind of call it where a lot of people are bringing in meals Sometimes the meals that get forgotten are breakfast and lunch, and specifically breakfast. But breakfast is such an easy meal to do. Whoa, so easy. I'm actually going to bring my friend some coffee cake today, and um, I have some blueberries that I'm just going to wash up, and I am going to include the blueberries and the coffee cake so that they have a a breakfast meal you could do coffee cake you could do muffins you could do like a loaf of homemade bread a tub of yogurt some bananas you know cut and washed fruit pick and choose between that do all of them I don't care um, breakfast casseroles are really great to do or like a baked oatmeal so many really great ideas and they're simple they're really simple things to cook to prepare you can do it while you're cooking dinner and bingo bango you're done if you're really short on time or you're really short on resources don't let that stop you from blessing somebody else with a meal take out pizza seriously when i had my babies i mean praise god we were actually living with my in-laws at the time and they <laughs> took care of dinners for me because i was overwhelmed I'd had a c-section with both my babies I could barely move and I was learning how to do everything as a new mom it was overwhelming and I was so thankful that we were living with my in-laws at the time they just they took care of everything but had I been home and someone had called up Pizza Hut and sent pizzas over to my house I would have been so thankful so thankful don't overlook things like that don't overcomplicate it don't think it's too uh, do it if you really cannot make a meal for somebody another really good awesome idea is to bring over a bag of groceries so simple and so easy and so very welcomed a bag of groceries and again if that's even too much gift cards gift cards gift cards to the grocery store gift cards to a local restaurant preferably one that does delivery you know if you are in a grieving process i would think that the idea of being able to perhaps go to a restaurant and just sit with my loved ones and be together and just be in that space of togetherness having someone provide the meal and the cleanup and all we have to do is show up i'm telling you i think that would be a gift to my soul and lastly guys just do it don't be afraid don't let things like people's food allergies or your fear that your food isn't good enough or whatever keep you from doing it ask simple questions like is there anything that you guys are allergic to or anything that you really don't like because heaven forbid you show up with like a fish dish and they're allergic to seafood like that would be bad um a lot of times if you know the person sometimes you know like if your friends are allergic to like gluten or peanut butter or things like that um it's just a simple question to ask and don't be intimidated by that and if people do have a specific food allergy that's going to be you know a serious issue i'm sure that they're going to let you know ahead of time when you say hey i'd love to bring you a meal 
So I'm going to share with you a few clips of what I am making today. I will leave any recipe links down in the description box below. I would really love to hear about your experiences with meal ministry. Um, I would love to hear the things that you bring, the things that you would love to bring. Like, let's let this, the comment section, be a resource for people who find this video and for people who, who need it. So leave your suggestions down below because you guys always have the best ideas the best i feel like i'm i always learn so much from you guys so anyways i gotta get to cooking my pasta water is almost ready let's get going Okay, so here is everything all laid out, ready to get packed up to go to my friend's house. So I did a salad and I have some romaine lettuce, cucumber, broccoli, and tomato. And I opted just to put it in a Ziploc bag so that she didn't have to worry about getting any containers back to me. She can just dump this into a bowl and it's good to go. I also have a bag of croutons and then some salad dressing. I've included a tub of blueberries. I did not wash these just in case they don't eat them this evening. Um, washed berries will go bad a lot sooner than unwashed ones. So I have left them unwashed and I will let her know. So this is my um, pasta casserole. I am going to just have her reheat it. Um, it'll cook for about half an hour. We're gonna go over around four o'clock, so that'll be lots of time before dinner, and, and it will just be easy to throw into the oven. I've also included a bag of frozen broccoli. I have a loaf of homemade bread. I pulled that out of the freezer this morning. And then lastly, I made a cinnamon, what is this? A cinnamon roll coffee cake. I've never made this recipe before, but it looked delicious on Pinterest. I was a little nervous when I poured the cinnamon topping over because it kind of actually sits on top of the cake, but the cake rises up and it kind of goes in between and it looks ooey gooey delicious. I'm going to leave the recipe for this down below. I did cut the 
glaze in half. So it calls for like two cups of powdered sugar and five tablespoons of milk and two teaspoons, I think, of vanilla. That just seemed too much to me, so I just did, I just halved that. So, and I think it looks more than perfect. So I'm gonna put some tin foil on top of this and that is what we're bringing over for dinner and breakfast for tomorrow. And here's everything all packed up, ready to go. I have both of my um, my pasta as well as my uh, coffee cake in here. They are just stacked on top of each other, one this way and then one this way. And then I also have the bread in here. This is just zipped on the side. And this is a container from 31 Gifts. And then everything else is just packed up here inside this plastic baggie. Nothing has to come back to me. I'll just <laughs> obviously bring my, um, my package home. But that is it. That is everything. Well, there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. So much more than I can possibly say. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and hang out with us a little bit longer. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.